I have never been on a date in my entire 22 years of life. Throughout my four years of college, no one's even so much as asked me out, talked to me, flirted with me. Like none of like none of that has ever happened to me ever. Like ever, 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 ever. I recently decided that I think I'm gonna stay in Waco, Texas instead of go to Boston for my gap year. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna go to Boston and I'm gonna have dating life and it's gonna be great because I'm sick of this. And anyway, I hang out with my friends yesterday and we had a really good time and I was like, okay, like maybe I should just quickly throw away two and a half years of friendship and I, maybe I should stay here and postpone dating for one more year. And um, my friend was like, yes, like do it, do it. And I was like, yeah, like, okay. Anyway, in this bar was just all white people and I was just like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna die alone. Like, ordinarily it'd be fine to date a white man. It's just in Waco, Texas, like, the white men here are just a special breed of white that just hates. I wouldn't say hates. They just, they don't go for black women, like, ever. So, I was already starting to feel kind of shitty at this first bar. Like, I was already like, ugh, this kind of sucks. Then, this guy was, one of the guys was talking to me. So, he was half Asian, half white, and he was saying his type is Asian girls. And I was like, oh, that's so nice. Like, I was like, imagine if black men's type was actually black women and not anybody else literally anybody else um and so i started feeling even crappier and shittier because i was like damn like white men don't want me black men don't want me like damn like i'm just gonna have to die alone just die alone <laughs> and so we go to another bar and this bar had a lot more black people but the people there were like in townies so they were like in their 30s i'm 22 for reference and so i would never date anyone who's 30 like i'm just i'm not gonna do that but it was just nice to be around more black people like whenever i go out i am never looked at like it's no it's actually crazy that's why i just like going out in spaces that's mostly women because i'm like i just hate the fact that like it happens all the fucking time when i go out with my friends and i'm like hanging out and they have guys in the group or whatever the guys you're talking to often caught me off don't listen to me. Mind you, it's a group setting. It's not like I'm just like, I came and I was like trying to include. No, no, no. It's a group of people. If the guys don't find you attractive, they're not listening to what you're saying. They're cutting you off to ask a girl they think is cute questions about herself. They just are not listening to you. And I just like hate that feeling of just not being listened to, heard, appreciated, any of these things. And so I'm like, you know what? Like, I think this is it. Like, this is a little bit of At this point, I'm trying not to cry because... I'm like, I'm gonna be here for one more year. I'm gonna be single for one more year. I'm gonna not be with, like, I just, I literally was like, I'm not gonna cry because I'm doing my makeup. But it was really shitty. And I just was like, I don't know. Like, I love my friends so much, but I'm like, they don't understand what it's like to feel like no one is ever like this. Everyone, every song is about dating and love and blah, blah, blah. And I've never experienced that. And I'm like, I don't, it's not gonna happen. They go, like, people don't want to be with me here. And I just, I did it for four years and I'm just like, I don't know if I can do it again. I just don't think I'm strong enough for this. This, uh, <clears throat> this, this like hurt me to my heart because. I 100% know where she's coming from. I live in LA um, and LA is probably the worst place for a black woman to be if she is not married, if she wants to um, find love, you know. But <clears throat> I mean, you guys can comment below. I don't know um, if there are any states or spaces uh, that, um, appreciate black women. And I'm saying that on the surface level, because this is what I want this young lady to understand and black women in general, that this is far, far from, um, physical. It is much more spiritual than we understand. But I hate, I hate for us that, and I don't want to cry either, but um, 
I hate for us as black women that it makes us think that we're less than, you know, it makes us think that there's something wrong with us. <laughs> um, because it isn't, there's no, there, like, if you could understand how beautiful you are in the sight of God, but I know that doesn't make you feel any better. <laughs> Because it's like a father saying, you know what, honey, you're so beautiful. You know, don't worry about what people think. But but it's like, but dad, like nobody is, nobody is asking us out. Nobody is, nobody is um, seeing the beauty that you see inside. I did kind of get myself together because like, no. And it's, I'm not crying Like, we have to be so tough in this world. And if you wonder why black women have attitudes or, gosh, like, if you wonder why sometimes we're so mad, it's because we have to deal with so much. And I just want any black woman out there to understand it is it is it is an attack it is an it is an attack on it is an attack and it didn't start like this it started slow it started with our men not understanding their value not being able to take care of their women and we have been so traumatized and abused in so many ways and it has led to this point but I want to try to give you some encouragement because one thing I know for sure that God has not forgotten about us and you need to know that and if there is anybody (laughs) that can make a dead situation (sighs) and bring it back to life it is the God that we serve it is Yah himself and I just believe that God has something special for us and if you are still single if you are still single and you don't feel appreciated or, or or you don't feel loved, or you don't feel pretty because the men of this evil satanic world, remember that this world is inherently evil. The evil men of this world don't find you attractive. You should find it as a compliment. You should find it as a compliment that you're not attracting demons. And most of these women that do have so-called men, if they are honest, they will tell you that they still get cheated on. If they are honest, they will tell you that most of these men are homosexuals. If they are honest, they will tell you that at night they cry because they're, they know that that man doesn't love them. Like they, trust me, it is not sweet for them either. And so we have got to get in the position where we learn to let that go and truly give it to God and truly say, you know what, God, my circumstances don't look great. Maybe you're getting older, but I trust that you have me in this situation. I trust that you care about the details of my life and that you know that it is not good for man or woman to be alone. And I just I just know I have the faith and I trust God that he is going to handle this and it's going to be in a beautiful way. And I don't know. I don't have answers. But I trust God and I know that he loves us and he wants the best for us. 
And he is going to show up and show out. So I know it. I know that it is hard. Gosh. I know that it, it is it is really hard. And I know it, it doesn't make you feel great. I know it doesn't make you feel pretty. But you are so beautiful. And I know sometimes you want to hear that from the opposite sex. And you don't want to hear it from your father and your uncle. You want to hear it from the person that you you want to love you. But you got to soldier up. You got to just soldier up. And understand that God has you. And I promise you, you are so beautiful. You really are. We are so beautiful, like inside and out. And it will take the hand of God to change the heart of some of these men out here. And when that happens, when he loves you with the love of Christ, and that is the only man you should desire, something in you will blossom and it will not always be like this. And I know that might not be the best encouragement, but I hope that it helps you to understand that you are not alone and there is nothing wrong with you. There's nothing wrong with your hair. There's nothing wrong with your skin. You are the original chosen woman. God chose you. Forget about this dying. This world is going to hell fast. This world is dying. These men are corrupted. These women are corrupt. You have got to stay focused. They are on their way to destruction and hell. If you only knew the things that these men are involved with, you would throw up and you you wouldn't want them at all. God has to change the man's heart in order for him to love you. And I promise you, you're going to want to wait on him because you don't want the scum of the earth that's out there right now. And as a black woman... You are loved and you are beautiful. You have to start looking for more examples of good men loving good black women. And, you know, I'll be the first to tell you it's not easy. But the truth is the truth. You are beautiful. I don't care. I don't care what they say about you. It's a lie. If this world is going to hell and this world is corrupted and we are finding out that men are at, women are actually men and there's some men that are women, like you don't want the scum of this earth. You don't want it. You have to wait on God. And God, I promise you, God is not going to leave us hanging. He's not. He's not. I just want to... We just got to hold on a little bit longer. And even if, my God, even if you never get a husband or get your man or whatever, your home is heaven. And we have to let this world go. There will be no marriages in heaven. And I know that's not what you want to hear right now. But it's the truth. And you have just got to find a way to muster up the strength to just keep going. And don't don't let it make you bitter. Because that's a real thing. Because we were designed, we were designed to be loved and nurtured and taken care of. And that's why. And in return, you know, you never have to tell a woman to love because we will naturally give that. You have that's why God has said had to tell men to love their wives. You don't have to tell a woman that we were designed to to give love and to nurture. So, you know. It's a lot of people that are married and 
and if some of them are honest, they will testify in the comment section that it's not all cracked up to what is what what, what we think is a lot of women wishing they were single right now. And as a single person who is in her 40s, there's a lot of people that are complaining in their 20s. I've been in this game for a long time. So just sh shut up, all right? Um, they will tell you that they have their issues and they have their problems. So don't get caught up in that. As hard as it might be, we have to get to the point where Jesus is our everything. And he really is like the best everything. He is so kind and so nurturing and 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 just loving and prov a provider. He sets the bar pretty high. And the only way any man on this earth can love you is if he starts to follow the ultimate example or it's not going to work. And, um, we're, we're going to be okay regardless. So this is just a PSA to know that there is nothing wrong with you. And you know, I've gotten to the point where like I don't I don't brush myself up. Like I don't even care anymore, you know, cuz I think like a part of me is just like like I don't care, but I ask that if there's any real true Christians out there, just pray for me because I don't want to be like that. I don't want to be bitter. Um, and I'm not saying like I dress up because I'm looking for a man because I don't even in LA like forget about it. I don't even I don't even like I don't even expect it. So I just know that, you know, I'm just working on hearing God's voice clearly. I'm working on understanding that I'm Hebrew. I'm working on like studying and reading the Bible. And I'm just giving it to God. And I think that's all you can do. If not, you are going to drive yourself crazy or you're going to be bitter or you're going to end up with someone who doesn't love you properly. And that is just no way to live. We are in our last days. And it's not going to get easier. And these men have a lot of explaining to do. And I just, you just, we just really as women... You need to check in with God and see if he wants you to pray for someone or men in general, because it is bad, ladies. It is not. It is all by design. It is. It was strategically done by the enemy, and it is so spiritual. It is such a spiritual attack on black women, you know, because we are the original chosen ones and our men as well. And Satan got them first. And I just pray, let's just pray that they, some of them wake up and come around. You know, that's, that's all we can do. All right. God bless y'all.